Welcome to our lecture online. So one of the applications to Bernoulli's equation is the common spray, spray bottle and we can purchase these fairly cheaply and we use this spray bottle to spray the solution on there to wipe the board each time we finish one of our presentations. So how does one of these work and how does that relate to Bernoulli's equation? So obviously you can see here that I placed Bernoulli's equation onto the board and realizing that the difference in height between the fluid at the bottom and the airflow at the top, the difference in height is very small, especially when we're dealing with the difference in air pressure, we can simply ignore that. So the term where the H comes in on both sides, so H over here versus H over there, because we're talking about the pressure difference due to the density of the air, it's so minor we can just ignore that and remove those terms. So this term and that term is gone, we're left with this. And then if we solve for the difference in the pressure, it's simply going to be equal to the difference between these two terms. Now, this term goes to zero because the velocity of the air inside the bottle is essentially zero, so we can ignore that part of the term. So essentially, the difference in the pressure between inside the bottle and the pressure inside the little tube through which the air is forced by pushing on the handle here, that will be equal one half the density of the air times the velocity of the air going through the tube. Now, if we use a velocity of 10 meters per second, you say, wow, that's quite a bit. That's as fast as a fast sprinter can run. Uh, what would be the, the difference in the pressure between here and here? And if you calculate that, so the difference in the pressure would then be 64.5 pascals. If you then compare that to the pressure in a fluid, which is rho GH, you can see that the height difference is only 0.66 centimeters almost seven millimeters. In other words, you can only bring the fluid up about seven millimeters if the, if the velocity of the air through the tube up there is 10 meters per second. So the air must flow faster than that. Let's say we get it up to 50 meters per second. Then you can see that the pressure difference will now be 1613 pascals. And if we plug that into the same equation, we find that the height then will be 16.5 centimeters, which would then be enough to pull the liquid all the way up to here and then the liquid then spray out of the bottle. So that's how a spray bottle works, is by forcing air in a very narrow tube at a very high velocity to cause a pressure difference that will cause the atmospheric pressure to push the liquid in the tube to this point where the air can then squirt it out. It's a very simple design, but keep in mind that you need a very high velocity of air rushing through that part of the, the tube, otherwise it wouldn't work. And that is how a spray bottle is made.